Have you ever wondered about the origins of our universe? How did it all start? These questions have intrigued scientists and philosophers alike for centuries. Our universe, a vast expanse of space and time filled with countless galaxies, stars and planets, is a mind-boggling entity to comprehend. But where did it all begin? How did this grand cosmic stage come to be? To answer these questions, we turn to cosmology, the scientific study of the universe's origins, evolution and eventual fate. Cosmologists have proposed a variety of models over the years, each offering unique perspectives on the universe's inception and development. Today, we'll be exploring two of these models, the Conformal Cyclic Cosmology, or CCC, and the Ecperiodic Universe models. The CCC model proposes an infinite cycle of universes, each one born from the fiery end of the last. This model suggests that our universe is just the latest in an eternal sequence of cosmic incarnations cycling between big bangs and big crunches. It's a model that seeks to explain dark energy, dark matter and the homogeneity and flatness of our universe. Then there's the Ecperotic Universe model, a theory suggesting our universe was created from a collision between two brains. Parallel membranes existing in higher dimensions. This model proposes that the universe's expansion is driven by a unique type of energy, the brainwave energy. It aims to account for dark energy, dark matter, the universe's homogeneity and flatness, and even the cosmic microwave background radiation, the echo of the Big Bang. Both models, despite their complexity and the challenges they face in terms of experimental testing, offer fascinating and thought-provoking perspectives on the universe's origins. They broaden our understanding of the cosmos, challenging us to rethink our place within it and the physics that govern it. So, are you ready to journey with us to the very edges of scientific understanding to explore these compelling cosmological models and what they reveal about our universe's mysterious inception? Let us delve into these fascinating models and see what they have to offer. The Conformal Cyclic Cosmology model presents a unique perspective on the universe. This model, often simply referred to as the CCCC model, suggests a universe that is perpetually cycling, each cycle beginning with a Big Bang and concluding with a Big Crunch. This cosmological model is deeply rooted in the concept of conformal symmetry, a particular type of symmetry that preserves the angles between objects, regardless of their size or shape. The CCC model offers an innovative approach to some of the most puzzling phenomena in our universe, providing a theoretical framework for understanding dark energy and dark matter. It suggests that dark energy, a mysterious force that seems to be accelerating the universe's expansion, is an integral part of the universe's cyclic nature. Similarly, the elusive dark matter, a type of matter that remains unseen and undetected by our current methods, is also accounted for within this model. This invisible substance, though not directly observable, exerts a gravitational pull that influences the motion of galaxies, and the CCC model provides a possible explanation for its existence. Additionally, the CCC model offers a rationale for the homogeneity and flatness of the universe. In cosmology, these are two significant observations that have long puzzled scientists. The uniform distribution of galaxies throughout space and the flatness of the universe on a large scale could be a result of the universe's cyclic nature as proposed by the CCC model. However, the CCC model, like all theories, comes with its own set of challenges. The complexity of the model makes it challenging to test experimentally. It also postulates the existence of a conformal field, a type of field that has yet to be observed in nature. Despite these challenges, the CCC model remains a captivating and thought-provoking theory. It proposes a new narrative for the origin and evolution of our universe and could significantly impact our understanding of physics and cosmology. The CCC model is a testament to the complexity and wonder of the universe we inhabit. The CCC model, while fascinating, is not without its limitations. One of the primary challenges is the model's complexity. To fully comprehend its intricacies, one must delve into realms of mathematics and physics that can be daunting even to seasoned scientists. This complexity also makes it challenging to test the model experimentally. Theoretical models are only as good as their ability to predict and explain observable phenomena. And the CCC model's intricate nature makes it difficult to put to the empirical test. Furthermore, the CCC model hinges on the existence of a conformal field, a concept that, while mathematically elegant, has not yet been observed in nature. 
This necessary but elusive field is another complication, adding to the model's challenges. Yet despite these hurdles, the CCCC model continues to captivate the scientific community. It's a testament to the spirit of inquiry and the quest for understanding that defines our species. Despite these challenges, the CCC model continues to intrigue scientists and spark debate. Here next, we have the Ekpyrotic Universe model, another captivating theory about our universe's origins. Born from the minds of cosmologists seeking to unravel the mysteries of our cosmos, the Ekpyrotic Universe model paints a picture of creation that's as intriguing as it is complex. At the heart of this model is the idea of two parallel membranes, or brains for short, existing in higher dimensions. The birth of our universe, according to this model, was the result of a cosmic collision between these two brains. This collision is thought to have released a type of energy known as brainwave energy, which has been driving the expansion of our universe ever since. Now you might be wondering, what sets the Ekpyrotic Universe model apart from other cosmological theories? For starters, it provides a plausible explanation for the existence of dark energy and dark matter, two elusive components of our universe that have puzzled scientists for decades. Dark energy, the mysterious force that's accelerating the universe's expansion, and dark matter, an unseen form of matter that influences the structure of galaxies both find a place in the Ekpyrotic model's narrative. Moreover, this model also accounts for the homogeneity and the flatness of our universe, attributes that have long been the subject of scientific scrutiny. It offers a convincing explanation for the uniform distribution of matter across vast cosmic distances and the seemingly flat geometry of the universe. And let's not forget about the cosmic microwave background radiation. This relic radiation from the early universe, still detectable today, is neatly explained by the Ekpyrotic model. It attributes this pervasive radiation to the energy released during the initial brain collision, thus tying up a critical loose end in our understanding of the cosmos. Yet, the Ekpyrotic universe model also faces its own set of hurdle. As promising as this model may be, it's not without its challenges, but that's a tale for another time. For now, let's revel in the wonder of the Ekpyrotic Universe model, a theory that dares to reimagine the birth, evolution, and perhaps even the future of our universe. The Ekpyrotic Universe model, much like the CCC model, has its own set of complexities. Diving into the depths of this cosmological theory, you'll find that it's not without its challenges. One such challenge is the very complexity of the model itself, which can make it difficult to test experimentally. The Ekpyrotic Universe model is a grand tapestry woven with intricate theories and concepts that can be daunting to unravel. Moreover, the model leans heavily on the existence of brains, these parallel membranes in higher dimensions. However, here's the catch. Brains, as intriguing as they are, have not been observed in nature yet. This lack of empirical evidence can put a dent in the credibility of the model, making it a hurdle in its widespread acceptance. Despite these challenges, the Ekpyrotic Universe model is a compelling theory that continues to provoke thought and discussion. It's an intellectual adventure, a cosmic mystery that keeps us questioning, exploring and learning. Both the CCC and Ekpyrotic Universe models offer unique perspectives on our universe's origins. In our quest to decipher the mysteries of the cosmos, we have encountered the conformal cyclic cosmology model, a theory that envisions our universe as an eternal cycle of big bangs and big crunches. This model has provided compelling explanations for the existence of dark energy and dark matter, two of the most baffling phenomena in modern physics. It also accounts for the uniformity and flatness of the universe, which have long puzzled cosmologists. Yet the model is not without its challenges. Its intricacy makes it a tough nut to crack experimentally. It also postulates the existence of a conformal field, a concept yet to be observed in the natural world. Despite these hurdles, the CCC model has significantly expanded our understanding of the universe and its workings. On the other hand, the Ekpyrotic Universe model proposes a startlingly different origin story. It suggests that our universe was born out of a colossal collision between two parallel membranes, or brains, in higher dimensions. This model, too, explains the existence of dark energy and dark matter, along with the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang. 
Much like the CCC model, the ekpyrotic model is complex and challenging to test. It also relies on the existence of brains, a concept that remains purely theoretical at this point. Regardless, the model has fueled our curiosity and enriched our perspectives on the evolution and expansion of the universe. Both these models, despite their complexities and unproven elements, have been instrumental in broadening our comprehension of the cosmos. They have spurred us to question, to explore and to push the boundaries of our knowledge. So the next time you gaze up at the stars, remember, there are infinite possibilities and theories about how it all began.